In a world where constant connectivity through smartphones paradoxically leads to feelings of undervaluation and isolation, we find ourselves immersed in a paradox of digital proximity and emotional distance. There seems to be an ironic interplay between our physical presence and digital absence. People are increasingly becoming entangled in the web of social media, sending out signals of existence in the quest for acknowledgement. Our digital presence becomes more pronounced, yet we feel increasingly anonymous. It's as if we are shouting out into a void, hoping for an echo. The reality of unattended notifications, unseen posts and unheard cries for connection is indeed daunting. This modern dilemma echoes in the empty reverberation of unanswered messages, highlighting our peripheral existence in others' lives. In this context, the enduring wisdom of Stoicism, imparted by philosopher Marcus Aurelius, becomes our guiding light. The Stoic principles urge us to realize that our true worth emanates from within, not from our external accomplishments. This video to decipher and present practical Stoic principles. It focuses on cultivating authentic connections, steering clear of manipulative strategies. By embracing these timeless insights, we are invited to foster relationships that mirror our true selves, rather than projecting what we think others desire. A key highlight is the Stoic emphasis on the necessity to find value in ourselves, not in our neediness. We are reminded that we derive indispensability not out of need, but from inherent value. The first step in this Stoic journey involves cultivating a sense of rarity in your presence. This starts with enhancing self-value, akin to a precious gem or rare book. Not easily accessible, but always there. The video proposes that true worth surges when there's scarcity. It isn't about playing hard to get, but about cherishing and respecting personal time, setting boundaries for self and others. This idea is inspired by Marcus Aurelius's teachings, where he champions inner value over external validation, fostering a unique balance between self-respect and interaction with the world. This philosophy promotes the idea of making one's attention a treasured gift, not an expected offering. This approach advocates for making one's presence and attention a treasured gift, rather than an expected commodity. The second principle revolves around avoiding constant availability. It's not about aimless denial, but it's about accepting requests that align with our personal values and priorities. Stoicism teaches us to visualize our day as an artist visualizes a blank canvas. The canvas representing your day is finite. It's the same as having a limited color palette in art. Every color you use matters. It's an analogy that encourages us to be selective with our time, to choose the colors wisely that make up our day. This practice, deeply rooted in self-respect, empowers us to appreciate the worth of our time. Consequently, it obliges others to value our time too. Thus, our yes becomes more meaningful, reflecting our genuine commitment and respect. Thirdly, the video delves into the concept of preserving a sense of intrigue. This isn't about hiding away in darkness, but more about the judicious choice of timing for self-disclosure. Much akin to a gripping novel that captivates its audience with strategically timed revelations. Imagine the narrative arc of a well-written book, the way it gradually unfolds the plot, keeping the readers engaged, constantly yearning for more. This is the essence of maintaining mystery. Stoic philosophy urges us to strike the perfect balance, to share our life stories in a way that cultivates intrigue, depth. Rather than revealing our entire being all at once, we must learn to artfully parcel out our stories, thereby creating an irresistible appeal through calculated disclosure. Stoic principles guide us to share our lives while fostering curiosity and depth, creating an allure through selective sharing. The fourth Stoic practice emphasizes the important principle of allowing others to invest in us, a concept that can often be challenging to grasp. This practice is not about parading one's self-importance or creating an illusion of superiority. Rather, it's about understanding the value in mutual enrichment and acknowledging how others can enhance our lives. This practice encourages a sense of humility and an open mind, as accepting help and advice from others signifies much more than just receiving aid. It's about appreciating the wisdom and experiences others bring and how these can be instrumental in our growth. By graciously welcoming the assistance and advice of others, we do not only exhibit a shared strength, but also foster a sense of community. 
We create deeper, more meaningful connections that enhance our life experiences and stimulate personal development. The fifth principle of our discussion emphasizes the importance of prioritizing one's own needs first. This may seem selfish at first glance, but when examined deeper, it proves to be a crucial aspect of personal and interpersonal well-being. This concept is similar to the familiar instructions given during air travel safety briefings. Airline passengers are always directed to secure their own oxygen masks before helping others even in the most dire situations. The reasoning behind this is simple. You cannot assist another person if you yourself are incapacitated. This is not a call to dismiss the needs of others, but to understand that you are in a much better position to help when your own needs are met. The philosophy of Stoicism, known for its emphasis on self-restraint and emotional resilience, also reiterates the importance of self-care. It underlines that a strong foundation of self-care is a prerequisite to effectively supporting others. The sixth point advises against making others the center of our life. An essential concept that resonates deeply within the philosophy of Stoicism is the idea of self-sufficiency, resilience, and the capacity to find contentment within oneself. This ancient Greek philosophy, popularized by influential thinkers such as Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, encourages us to identify and differentiate between what we can control and what we can't. It prompts us to accept external circumstances as they are and to focus on our own actions, thoughts and feelings which are directly under our control. The story of our life should not be dictated by outside factors or by other people. It should be governed by our own decisions, actions and reactions. Each of us possess an inner compass, a unique guide that aids us in navigating the journey of life. This compass empowers us to assert control over our own narrative. We are the protagonists of our life story, and we should respect and value our own time and energy. It's a significant part of our journey to realize that the essence of life is not about obsessing over others or allowing them to eclipse our individuality. Instead, it's about nurturing our self-growth and development. Stoicism teaches us to navigate life's journey with an inner compass, asserting control over our own narrative and valuing our time and energy. Lastly, you should refrain from the urge to always be the first to speak in every conversation. This is a habit we often unknowingly indulge in, stemming from a mindset where we feel the need to express our thoughts and opinions before anyone else does. However, this habit can hinder our ability to truly understand and connect with others. The Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of stepping back and embracing the power of active listening. This simple yet profound shift in our communication approach allows us to see situations from different perspectives, deepening our relationships and altering our perceptions. It serves as a true embodiment of the Stoic belief, which emphasizes the significance of silence's strength and the wisdom found in listening attentively.